What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? My man, Joey Eyeglass in the building. What's, What's up, going? bro? Not much, man. I, uh, I've had some bad shit about that company. I don't know if you saw that TikTok I put out there. Well, we got, we got lots to unpack, bro. We got lots to unpack, man. I mean, well, first thing first, you know, we we just gonna just gonna go ahead and jump right into it, man. What 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 is going on in this video right here, man? They parked places in truck three two zero. What's going on with you in that one, man? Like, <laughs> okay. I mean, this one right here, like, <laughs> you know, and then you came back. Somebody mentioned something in a in a in the in the comments, and you was like, "No, nah, bro, I'm not gonna fight this dude." What's 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 up, man? Take us back. I was just joking. He wasn't trying to fight. I wasn't trying to fight him, yeah, man. Just, I'm just trying. I was just trying to get out of the place. It was in uh, God, where is that? It's in Texas. I think I, I posted a video. I showed like a a map of it. It's basically, there's a Sonic inside. It's called Kyle something truck stop. I want to say it's like Springdale, Texas or some shit. None of us was parked in the spot. We were in creative parking spots. But this dumbass blocked the exit. And he was like telling me, no, 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 no. They're blocking your exit. It's like, no, motherfucker. Those are like nine trucks over there. They all parked there. So the par spot he was parked at was blocking the exit. And I just said, can you just move up like 10 feet so I can just, you know, back out and it's like, get out of here. He wouldn't move. I was like, damn. I said, well, if I hit your shit, I hit your shit. And I walked back to my truck. I talked to him like, you know, nicely at first, but he was just like, I'm not moving. I said, well, if I hit your shit, I hit your shit. So He's let like, me get oh, well, so let, eyeglass. Let me stop you, bro. So you, you went up there prior to turning on the camera before we see anything happen, but you just so happen to get on the side of them to turn the camera on to get the interaction uh right then and there. Why you didn't why you didn't turn the camera on when you went up to them in the first place, bro? It's like three in the morning. I, like usually if you well, because normally if you go if somebody's up sitting in their truck, I saw him like he was up. I was just gonna wait for everybody to move and like so I'll leave in the morning. But I saw him parked there. And he's in his front seat smoking a cigarette. So I didn't think there was being a confrontation. I'm like, I'll right. just get out, go over there, say, hey, man, can you uh, go on ahead and move up 10 feet and, uh, so I can get out of here? Just just move up a little bit, and I'm going to back around you. He's like, no. He was parked in front of all the trucks. So the trucks in the, like, 10 parking spots that they had, they, they weren't leaving yet. But if they were going to leave, they wouldn't be able to leave to where he was parked. To me, if you park creatively, you have to expect that motherfucker might ask you to move, you know? Right. Now, you know, I mean, parking, man, parking, shenanigans, the the fuel island shenanigans, it never fails, man. And I, I, I don't understand. Well, I do a little bit, but I, I know, like, some some of the some of the guys that's that's doing the infraction like blocking the fuel islands or blocking a parking spot or or in, you know the edges or something like that when they see somebody coming with a camera then they'll they'll get irate and you'll basically get what you want to get out of them you 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 see what i'm saying but I understand now yeah, that you I wasn't went up, trying to do that. right? But you went up there to him and be like, "Yo, bro, you know, can you like move up a little bit?" You know, same thing. How somebody will go up to somebody in the fuel island, you know, without the camera, and you be like, "Yo, yeah. bro, can you, uh, you know, move up a couple of feet?" You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get up out of here. I'm, you know, you, you kind of like hindering my time, you know. I, I and I don't understand yeah. why they wouldn't like. Oh, okay, but as I said before, man, you know us drivers, we're toxic, bro. All of us, we're we're all toxic. It's crazy. And it's, he wanted me to wake up the other drivers. If you listen to him, he goes, "He's blocking your way. I'm on the curb side." It's like I said, but he's sleeping. 
Like you're awake. <laughs> it's. I mean, I don't know. I was just like. I mean, it's, uh, it's crazy. He was man. a big dude, though. All right, so Joey eyeglasses, right, man. man. We we've been knowing each other for 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 a hot minute, man. So welcome to the show. I really do appreciate you stepping up in the building, talking to me, man. We uh. You know, we go uh we 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 go back since the Zello days, man. So let's uh let's catch up a little bit. Have you um have you have, have you been around the Zello uh Zello fronts lately as uh you know as uh what what's that? The 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 stoop is that they still around? What's what's going on? I don't think so. I haven't seen the only people I ever see that came in the stoop was uh Randy Spears. You see him in there. Um, but he, you know, over at NFG, dot, 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 there's been like a bunch of channels and now it's a new one. So people keep reporting the channel, getting it shut down and have to make a new channel. I don't know what happened to the stoop, man. They're not there no more. I mean, last time I talked to somebody from the stoop, I believe, uh, Choice Mass, uh, I, don't don't let me get to speculating, but I mean, the last time I heard that he was the one that shut the the stoop down, um, and that was uh that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. It's not the channel. I don't see it in my thing. It says it was closed by the uh, owner. Oh, okay. I don't know if they have another channel. I just didn't get invited. I don't know. I mean, it was you know, it, um, you know, it was a pop, you know, it was it was a popular, you know, one of the one of the back then, you know, this like what three yeah. four years ago back now, right? I mean, it was a pretty popular, it was a pretty popular app, and it was a pretty popular, uh, uh, you know, uh, channel, you know, for everybody that was coming up yeah. in there, you know. You didn't have if you didn't have thick skin, uh, I I would suggest you not to go in there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I got pretty crazy. It was like no talking politics or religion, but sometimes people would talk about politics. And I don't know. It, it was pretty cool though. I still see uh, 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 Young and Trucking. I see him on Instagram. I see At. I got to meet up with uh, Trucking with Box when I was out there in Arizona. Okay. That's pretty okay. cool. Yeah, I, you I know, AT, you know, AT, that. she comes, you know, she comes in and out of Instagram. I, you know, I talked with her uh a few times. Uh of course, uh Young and Trucking, you know, I see him, you know, every so often on Instagram as well. Um I know I I know that um that the truckers for the homeless or truckers feeding the homeless they they had their thing this year um uh i believe uh what's his name country ghetto uh he mentioned that oh, okay yeah, yeah i he, remember him yeah he mentioned that they had the uh that they had the thing this year uh baltimore i'm not sure i i can't i i can't remember we you know, we was just talking in passing, but it, it it was this year. Did you ever what? Did you ever meet up with them to do one of their truckers feeding the homeless uh, deals? No, I never been to a truck show. I've always wanted to. I just I don't know if I could take off work to go to a truck show. I don't know. I, I want to, but like part of me is like I rather if I'm gonna take off work from trucking. I want to spend time with my family. It's hard to like take off work and then go to a truck show. I want to do it though, but I just never done it. All right. Yeah. The first, the very first deal, I believe they all met up in Dallas. Well, where's the great American, yeah. the great American truck show was in that. Da no, no, no. I no. The first one was in Dallas. And I think the second one was in Kentucky. If I'm not mistaken. And then, of course, quote. It looked like they had a blast from what I've heard. Yeah, and what I saw. it looked fun. I yeah, it was a, uh, it was, it was a nice little, you know, it was a nice little get together. I, you know, I like the process. I like the, I like the ideas of, you know, a couple of truck drivers getting together, and you know, and you know, giving back to the community 
and all like that. You know, it, it pretty much, you know, I saw I saw one of Choice Matt's video after, you know, I believe he did the first one and he was saying that it was kind of humbling. You know, he said he would never. Yeah. Uh, he would never state that, you know, that he was homeless because the type of homeless he was experiencing wasn't nothing compared to what he has seen. Yeah, I sleeping outside and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what did you think about that video of that place I worked at? Well, we about to we we, we, we about to touch on that in a minute. Hold on, we we hold on, we about to touch on it. Let me let me see if I can pull it up. Hold on right quick. Hold on right quick. Let me see if I can pull it up. Oh, and by the way, old boy was working for Covenant. <laughs> Covenant transport. Oh. Pulling a container. A co pull it, what? Covenant pulls containers now? I guess. He was pulling a container. Oh Probably my came God. out of Georgia or somewhere. Oh, my Probably God. Probably Savannah. How you been doing, though? I mean, how, I mean, how you been doing since... Uh, since a couple of years, man. I mean, you know, you 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 did did you step out of trucking for a little bit? I did. It was uh, for like 2019. I went back to doing Uber. Now we're just doing Uber and stuff. And then, you know, with all the shutdowns and stuff, I was like, man, the only thing that was open was trucking. And I was just like, man, I think I'm gonna get back into trucking. So I started looking at companies. And then since I was off the road for almost a year. I had to go with like the smaller company and I went with this company, uh, Sortino, a little mom and pop company out of Omaha. I went there and then off of a uh, Facebook, like CDL truckers, something on Facebook, they, you know, they're always advertising for jobs. The guy's like, Hey, I'll pay you 30% and, um, you get to pick your loads. And I was like, man, that's cool. So this, this I is, went over there and I this, was making good money. This this is the company that you just previously left. Let's let's hear what you got to say about yeah. that. Saw my video yeah, where it was bad. You know, I quit this company I was working for, Aero Logistics, making good money, you know, pick my own freight, everything's everything. Man, this dude went to prison for 14 years. And if it was drugs, robbery, murder, beating your wife, what is that? Domestic violence. Whatever. I wouldn't care. God damn. Man. Bruh. When you got charges like this? <laughs> nah. Nah. I'm not working for you. No. So Let's talk about them charges, bruh. Okay, so this is... So you found this guy off of Facebook... Uh, he was, right. he was offering, he was, obviously he must have offered you a, a nice little amount, gave you a chance to pick your own yep. freight. And as you said, yep. you know, as you said, you, you, you was making money. What this, I mean, this oh, yeah. guy's charges, sexual conduct mm -hmm. with a minor, sexual conduct with a minor, attempted molestation of a child. Jesus Christ, uh -oh. man. Uh sexual he did 14 years. Sexual conduct uh of a minor. Uh incident exposure to a minor and aggravated assault in 2013 uh, in 2013, bruh. How this man became wait, yeah. how how this man was able to the 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 uh be a fleet owner, like right. And he was ran. He rents rider trucks and Penske trucks, and then you get to you just pick loads off the load board. It was a sweet gig. You just I go on the dashboard. I take a screenshot of the load. You know, I call the broker. You know, negotiate my rate. Send him a screenshot. He he forward me their rate con. Barely ever even talked to him. And you know, I was getting a percentage of the load. And then he started letting us rent the trucks. And, um, you know, when the rates went down first, it was just 30%, but then the rates went down. He's like, I'm just going to let you guys take over. Cause he didn't want to mess with it. Oh, okay. Let, oh, hold, 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 hold up. Hold, hold up. by glasses. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. D is, does this guy have a CDL? That I don't know. He has his own authority. 
it's listed under there. It, like you can look up his authority. It's listed. He's had his authority for a couple of years since 2014 or 15 or something. All right. So by the sounds of this guy, this this guy sounds like he hooked up with one of these internet gurus on your own fleet without without driving the truck or or owning the truck. So what this so what he did with his uh authority, he went to Penske, uh probably negotiated a uh a, 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 a nice rate to rent their trucks. Is this a full is this a full on tractor trailer or box trucks? No no tractor trailer and uh what else was it? A tractor trailer, and he has reefer trailers that oh. he was renting out. Okay, so he just basically uh, leasing through them and put and and pretty much pushing the cost off of leasing to you guys, right? Yeah. But you said you. I was... just texted you the article. I just texted you the article of his first charge. I when you just say his charges, it don't sound as bad. He was a YMCA coach, and he got charged for molesting five-year-old, seven-year-old, and twelve-year-olds on a soccer team. Like, okay, that dude should be in jail still. Okay, so you you talked about that. Hold on, very quick. All right, that's it. A former YMCA soccer coach was sentenced fourteen years in prison for repeatedly molesting children he met through the YMCA between 1981 and 1983. Jerry W. Melbourne, 18, who has admitted he began molesting, molesting young children in seventh grade, will be eligible for re, uh, parole when he is 25 years old. Wow! How did you? How how did you? How, how did you come? Up, well, let me ask you this. I mean, of course, when you guys when you guys was talking and he initially got you, you know, got you to come on. I'm going to assume that the allure of, of picking your own freight, making your own money uh, was 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 all good and fine. But what made you go and say, huh, let me just do a, you know, let me just go ahead and, and do a background check on this guy. What, what made you do that? Oh, I didn't do it. One of the drivers did it and they started emailing it to everybody. And we got, everybody got the emails and I started calling the drivers and we ended up on this like conference call and I'm like, is this real? And then when I asked him about it, he told me, he said, well, it was a long time ago. He goes, who cares? You're making money, right? I said, I care, mother. Me. That's who cares. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like what? <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. I mean, you would think, you know, you you would think like other drivers probably wouldn't care about that because they are making money and and the fact that it was years ago but still you know you you eyeglasses you you're a family man you got kids you know and and, yeah, I and can. you know uh, and your heart your heart you couldn't you you couldn't Work for that comp. I mean, work for that guy. You know, nah. you you think it to your you, guys that quit all in one day, right? You think it to yourself, like, what if it, it was my kids? You know, exactly. You, you you couldn't do that, regardless if you was making money or not, man. That's nah. wow. So where it is, ain't enough money. So so what's the next? So what's the name of the company again? It's Aero Logistics. MC eight seven four eight zero one. If you Google it, it'll show up, and it even shows that address that's on his thing. That's how I knew it was legit. So, like, it was like all the stuff right there. I'm like, oh my god! And then when he got out, he had some attempted stuff. So maybe I'm assuming he got set up with something. They just don't. They don't give these creeps enough time. I feel like. They should go to jail forever for that stuff, man. Yeah, I mean the 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 the, the right, child. I mean the child that's thing. It. That's just that's just way too much right there. Like for real, for real. Well, that's right. So, but he, he did one his, job in this world. Take but, care of the children. I mean the way he. I I I guess he's looking at it now. You know that it's been so long. He did his time, and you know why why worry about 
you know, what's going on with me back in the day. But then again, you know, I'm working for you and who's who's to know, who's to say, who's to who who's to say that those tendencies will come back again? You know? Yeah. Well, and the way I look at it, he may have did his time, but God only knows what them kids are going through. Like, right. that's life. That don't, I feel like that probably never goes away. Right. Uh, Woo. But still, yeah, like I said, I don't know what he's doing with his money. I don't know if he's still out there doing that stuff. And like, uh, that's, that's, Aero I logistics. Well, I mean, this... This is, uh, I mean, yo, Joey, man, I, I do appreciate you coming on and uh, sharing, you know, your testimony with, you know, with this company, man. I mean, I mean, guys, y'all got to do your due diligence on on these companies, man. I mean, you know, yep. and you and you just so happily found him, what, through through Facebook? Facebook, uh, CDL drivers looking for work. I'm sure you've seen yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of a lot of drivers. Yeah, a lot of owner operators uh, come into Facebook groups. Say, say like, I got, uh, I got to run. Uh, I need a couple of drivers. Those type of dudes. Yeah, you know, you 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 come and hook up with them and all like that, and you know, you you don't know their background until somebody just just say out out of the blue, just say, hey, maybe uh. Maybe I'll just do a background check on this company that I'm driving for, and you know, and then all of a sudden that pops. I learned up. my lesson, man. Next, next person I go to work for, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my research. I want to look them up, see what you know. I don't know, like if you, that's if, unless it's some big company, you know, you know they're not gonna have nothing crazy. Well, person. speaking, or, I wouldn't think. Speaking of big companies, uh, eyeglass. Uh, Back in the day, you wanted me to do a call. I I still haven't got around to doing it, but it's it's in the list. You wanted me to do a call on uh Stewart, the former company you was driving oh, for. Oh yeah, Stewart. What happened? Yeah. What happened with them, man? I you know at one time, you you was you you was like happy with the company. Like what happened? They're so nice. Like they were like really nice, good people. Um, I took a local job at Kellogg and now uh, they said, okay, we'll hire you. But they have like 30 or 60 days to, um, or whatever they do the, you know, they get all your background stuff back. Right. And they told them that I wrecked the truck. And when I called the lady, she was like, yeah, there were some scuff marks and some scratches. Like maybe you ran up over something that was under the bumper and Wait, 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 whoa, 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 like, whoa, 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 you, you, you talking yeah. about with Stewart or a company before Stewart and Stewart found out? No, no, Stewart. Yeah, with Stewart, they, uh, that's what she said. She goes, well, they found some scratches and stuff on there. It wasn't there before. I said, yeah, but you have, I hit a stationary object, not wear and tear. I said, I probably did scrape branch, probably hit the top of the truck, scraped it a little bit, and things happened. But wait, 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 wait. Like, but I ain't hit nothing. Wait, but what, uh, okay, you you kind of found that out through uh, another company, but what was the reason of you leaving Stewart in the first place? Oh, just to go, because I was going local, I, I got a... That's oh, okay. For Kellogg. I was doing local. Oh, okay, okay, and okay, I got you. And they had to let me go because of that. They said, well, okay. so they put down that they terminated me for safety. Even though I quit, they said it was a termination for safety. And you, when you get something on your DAC report, I'm telling you, man, you cannot get it off. They can put whatever they want because they're the client. You're not their client. You don't pay for DAC. They do. Right, right. And that's basically what the DAC people at the higher right told me. And, you, like, and you know what? I mean, you know, it, 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 it's supposed to stay on your report for like, for like three years or three. or yeah i it's think it's three now, I, I think it's three years i'm not i'm not sure exactly but you're exactly right uh a lot of these uh companies you know just just really you know throw some dirt on a driver like yo bro uh i'm gonna quit oh okay all right well we we're we gonna we're gonna show you <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
we're going to show you, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to throw you under the bus. We're going to go ahead and blacklist you. And, uh, you know, yeah. like in the corporate world, companies, when they call for companies, the only thing they're supposed to take, the only thing they're supposed to say is, yeah, you know, this person worked here from this date to this date. And that's it. But it's crazy how these trucking companies, you know, they and some of them, some of them are tight with each other. So it's like an inner communication type deal. But for those that don't have that, you know, they'll go on the DAC report and they can actually see on there that, yeah, you know, he got fired because of safety reasons. Oh, OK, well, so much for that. <laughs> but some of these companies yep. have like inner. Yeah, I pretty much just stop driving. Right. And some of these companies have inner communications with each other. Like they actually would tell the, the, the company like so um we just checking up to see how long uh such and such drove for you. Oh yeah, well he, he drove for us from you know ninth or 2020 to 2022 and yeah, and you know he got fired because he was in like a lot of accidents. Like, bro, you ain't supposed to right. say that. But they do. And then they'll come back to you and be like, yeah. nah, nah, we're we're good with you, driver. Thank you very much. And then you're going to have to end up going to places like Super Eagle. <laughs> almost Ooh. went there. Oh, you say you almost went there. Well, I guess I kind of did go there. I did I did kind of go go there because they had a new Mack truck. But it was it was for a logistics. And, dude, it's like he just kept raising. Like, the first week was cool. Then the second week. My settlement was like negative seven thousand dollars. I'm like, what's God this four thousand dollars charge for? He's like, hold, hold yeah. on. He say, hold on, right quick. Got seven thousand on your second negative settlement. Negative seven thousand on the second settlement. He charged me four thousand dollars for a insurance deposit. I said, why am I paying your insurance deposit? He goes, because you got a truck. I said, dude, but so you got like a hundred trucks. You don't have insurance. He goes, yeah, and I go, that's not how that, like, bro, I know how this works. Like, you put down a deposit, and you just add, like, insurance. Like, you're not, I'm not going to pay your insurance $7,000 like, on yeah. your second settlement. Now, you said this, what, yeah, is this, bad. like, so it, it wasn't Super Eagle, but, like, a sister company of Super Eagle? What's, what, what is this? It was just, uh... It was a super ego truck because it said super ego on the mud flap. That's the only way I even knew. But it said Bora Logistics, and I said, uh, "I said, man, I'm not, I'm not paying that. I'm not, I'm not working here." And I brought their, gave him his truck back. So, wow, they just. Well, I didn't actually. They, I didn't bring it back to him. I just said, "Here's where your truck is." They, they just, not, they, crazy. they just slapped the shit out of you with that one, man. Seven thousand negative. They skinned the Raycons and. They don't let you self dispatch and all that kind of stuff. It's like, nah. Man, I'm I'm stuck on seven thousand, you know, bruh. <laughs> yeah, negative uh, seven thousand. I'm like, whoa, what? Like, I, I, I can, can imagine. I, I can imagine this. the sticker shock. Like, you know how you going? You 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 get like, sticker shock. Like, bruh, you opened up your you you opened up your uh your settlement uh your settlement sheet. Hell, negative seven thousand dollars, four thousand dollars for yeah. insurance. Like what? What is this? I thought I had a check coming for seven thousand until I looked. I'm like, wait, that's in red. That ain't good. <laughs> oh my! God. Yeah, when it was in parentheses, I was like, oh nice, I got seven thousand. I was expecting like four, five hundred forty-eight, but dang, seven's good. <laughs> oh my! And I looked. God. I was like, wait a minute. Oh my god! God damn, my glasses, man. Jeez. All right, so yeah, you gotta you gotta do the research on the companies. I gotta start watching your show more. Hey, watch I I I, I appreciate it, man. That's that's company. what the that's what the recruiter call channel is all about, bro. We we make the calls for you so you don't have to. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh man! Wow. Well, in your opinion, what's the best company right now? You think? Uh 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 uh. No no no. 
Uh, the best company oh, is no. what the best company is what you make of it, bruh. That's that's the best that's company. I, no, the best company is what you make of it. You know, it's like it's like who shit that you wanna that that you wanna take. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you feel like you could take all that the bullshit, true. if you feel like you could take all the bullshit at that company, then that's the best company for you right there, bruh. That's the best company, man. But like you, you know, like you said, you know, definitely do your due diligence. You know, definitely do your research, man. And I do appreciate that. You know, you use uh, that you use the channel. You know, for you know, for help and everything. So, whatever I can do, I'll you know, whatever I can do, I'll I'll try and do it, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real white? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G and I'll make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not.